tutorial is going to show you how to use the data you get from Google Forms to create a few different charts um, showing percent growth or point gain on a pretest and post test. So um, what we have here is, you know, this is just a random quick little pretest, you know, fake pretest with five questions for math that I have. And then we also have the post test here. So uh, I just kind of put them put them next to each other. So it's the same same exact test, the pretest. Once I'm done creating this and ready to send it, you know, I can click send form and send it just like I always have. But once I'm done and know this is finalized, what I would do is make a copy of it and just rename it post test. So we have it ready when it's time to give the post test. And this way, when we collect the data later on, everything will be lined up um, and, and ready to work with. So the pretest and post test. When you um, collect responses, you can see we have four responses for each, and these are just some fake responses. I can click view responses. So this is on the post test, and I'll view them on the pretest as well. So what we have here are the four responses to the pretest, and these are just uh, fake entries that I made. So Ryan, this would be my answer key for when we use Fluberu to grade it, and these are my three students. And I can see here, if I click over to my post test responses, it's the same one. So here's my answer key, and then here are my three students. So if I go ahead and look at my pretest, and I'm going to close these forms just so I have the two response sheets. You can see post test pretest. I used Fluberu already and graded it and it produces this. So you can see my name, Ryan, is not included because that was the answer key. So we have five possible points. Um, there were three submissions. Uh, George got a 40, Catherine got a 60, Paula got a 40. And we can see here the orange questions are the ones that got below 70 percent as a class. Okay. Now if I go to post test, I'm hoping that these three students improved. So if I go to post test and I click grade, so when I ran Flubrew through, great, everyone improved to 100%. I have no low, low scoring questions. The whole class is 100%. So they did perfect. But so now I want to be able to um, create a couple jar charts. Okay. So what I would do is on my post test sheet, I would add a new tab down here. And with that new tab, I'm going to show a few different things. Um, I'm going to call this tab, and I'm going to rename it by clicking that little arrow and rename. I'm going to say student analysis, and I'm eventually going to want another one called grade or question analysis. Sorry, question analysis. So I'll go back to the student, and what I want to represent is the student name the pretest score, the post test score, um, the point gain, and then the percent growth. So I can represent all those things. So on my pretest grades, I have George, Catherine, and Paula. I'm going to copy those, highlight those, and then copy those sections. So I can go here, copy. I'm going to go back to my post test where I set up these tabs, and I'm going to paste this right here. Now, my post test, I can go back to grades, and something I can do to make sure everything's lined up, I can copy these just real quick and paste it right next to make sure everything lines up correctly. And that is good. So I know that the grades are going to line up. Something that you might want to do is, you know, sort from A to Z. So on these names, before you would copy, you can sort from A to Z, and you're going to see if I do Z to A, they're going to sw switch. But you want to make sure you do that on both, just so everything lines up, all right? So actually, I'll just do Z to A, just backwards, just why not? So now, um, and there we go. Okay. So now I'm. I know that. Uh, these, these names are lined up. Now I want to put in the scores. So Paula, Catherine, George, and the pretest. So I can go back here to the pretest, get their scores. Paula, Catherine, George. I'm going to copy, going to highlight this, copy them, go back to my post test. I 
and paste, control V. Now for my post test scores, I need to go here. I'm gonna grab these, copy, paste. All right, so now we have that scores in from pre and post. Now to write our formulas for the point gain percent growth. So for point gain, we just want to know how many points they improve from the pretest to the post test. So I can write a simple formula. All formulas start with the equal sign. So equals, and I can click this cell, C2 minus B2, and hit enter. Now what you're going to notice there is we have a percentage. We don't want a percentage. We just want 60 points, so just the number 60. So what I'm going to do here and you're going to notice something after I do this. I'm going to click the uh, click D to highlight this whole column. I'm going to go to Format, Number, and then go to Number. And you're going to see I have 0.60. That's not what I want. I want 60. So to change this 0.60 to 60, we just need to do a little math. So order of operations, I put that in parentheses, right? This minus this. And then I want to take that answer and multiply times 100. And you're gonna see right there, I got 60 points, right? Multiplying by 100 changed that percentage to a whole number. And then, see how I turned to a crosshair right here? So there's my arrow, there's a crosshair. I can click there and drag down to copy that same formula to these cells. So you can see C2 minus B2 times 100, C3 minus B3, which is these two, C4 minus B4. Okay, so there's my point gain, simple formula. And you'd be able to copy this, you know, all the way down for however many students you have. All right. For percent growth, we're going to write a little bit different formula. So we're going to go, so we want to know by what percentage these students grew. So I'm going to, same thing, formulas start with the equal sign. And now the formula for percent increase or decrease is the difference divided by the original. So I go the difference. So it's the difference of these two scores, C2 minus B2, divided by, and we use the little slash there, divided by the original score, which is the pretest. Okay, C2 minus B2 divided by B2. I click enter. And there we go. This student, Paula, had 150% growth. They went from a 40 to 100. They grew by 150%. And if I can do the same thing, I can go to the crosshair and drag down. <clears throat> and we have here the percent growth. So now we can use some of this data to make some graphs. And the one I'll show you right now is just a comparison between their pretest and post test. And obviously there's others you can do as well. But what I want to do is I'm going to highlight and click and drag from the name down to here. Because this is all the data I want. I want their name, the pretest, and post test. So once all that's highlighted, I'm going to go to insert, chart, and from here you can work with different things and I'm going to click charts so it gives you one that they suggest but I can go to charts column and I can click here and you can see what I'm seeing and it'll reflect kind of whatever you do and start I have some here that it's recommending right but I like this one right here okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert and here we go. And I like to insert, click this little uh, arrow up here, move to own sheet. And what I have here, it's created a new tab, chart two. So I can say rename student chart. Paula's pretest, post test, pretest, post test, pretest, post test. So I can change these, you know columns I can say let's make this one red and reloading real quick so I can say I want these series red oh having connection but I can with my advanced edit I can edit the different components of the chart all right I can see down here those colors all right we can change this to whatever we wanted blue. I like changing the pretest to red and the post test to green. All right. 
So hopefully our green is better and you can see the, the legend reflects this. So I can click update and there we go. So it's on its own chart. So that's a good uh, chart to show the gains for each of the students. And if you had a whole class, there would be a pair for each student. Okay, now let's go over to the question analysis. So we have a blank chart here. And I'm going to put my tabs in here. So I'm going to go pretest, post test, point gain, percent gain. Okay. What I'm going to do now is analyze the percents from the question. So I'm going to go back over to my pretest. All right. And what I want is the actual question. So I have these are my questions here. So I have five questions. One, two, three, four, five. I clicked and dragged the highlighted. I can copy. I can go back over to my other sheet here. And up in this top, top area, I'm going to paste. So there's my questions. Okay. Now just to check to make sure my post test questions are in the same order, I can go to the grades tab of my post test. And here's the same ones that I would feel. I can copy these, go to my question analysis. And underneath here, I can just paste and make sure everything's the same, just so I know my question percentages are going to line up. So since I know they're the same, it's great. I can just remove these. Now, I have this orange formatting in here. I don't want that formatting because that just helped me on my grades to determine, you know, what was low scoring and what, what wasn't. So I can remove that formatting by clicking here to highlight this whole row. And in this fill color, I can reset it. And it's just going to go back to clear. So I need my pretest scores for these questions. I can go to my pretest tab, and here's the scores for the questions down below. So I can copy these, I can go back, and I can paste. All right, there's my scores. I can go to my post test, grab the same scores, and question analysis, paste. All right, and again, I can remove all that fill formatting. Right? Um, point gain, so simple, equals this minus this. We can see we gained 66 points. And just like before, we can copy across. All right, and here's how many points we gained for each one. Um, percent gain equals right, the difference this minus, oops, this minus this divided by here. Oh, I need to change that, this column to a percentage. So I click the row, format, number, percent. Good, because we want to know percent gain. Let me change this all the way across. There we go. So we went from a 33 to 100 on this question, 200% gain. All right. So there we go. We have our um, percent gain for each of the questions, the point gain for each of the questions, um, and then the scores on the pre-test and post-test. So we can do some of the same kind of things where if we wanted a graph, we can highlight this information where we have the questions, we have the pre-test and post-test, and here the scores. Insert. We can go to chart. Right, we can flip these around where we can see each of the questions. All right, each of the questions here, pretest and post test. I can flip it around, right, if I wanted to. I like this way better where we have pretest, post test, and the questions underneath. And we can see how we gained on each one. Um, we can insert that, move to own sheet, and we can say rename question chart. <clears throat> and then we can drag, um, we can move these around if we needed to, different order, but we can see the percentage for each of these questions correct and how it actually went to 100% on the end. So there's again a lot of different things we can we can do um, for these questions. Um, so that's taking some of the data from your Google Forms and using FluGuru to see percent gain, point gain for both questions and for students.